everybody welcome back to another guide video today we're gonna to be doing a little black crappie guide so as you can see my biggest crappie so far is a gold however I have seen diamonds pulled out right in front of me and we'll get to that but first we'll start with <laughs> so, I always hate man it's always the worst you, you tried so hard you've been out there forever trying to get your diamonds and somebody just whoosh, whoosh, diamond right in front of you. It's usually like Johnny or Tony or Doe or something. Just diamond right in front of you, man. It's the worst. But um, no, no, no. We're happy for our friends, right? When they're when they're getting the big trophy fish in our spots. No, that's that's definitely we're happy for them. We're not jaded at all in any capacity. Definitely not. <laughs> no, all right. We'll get into it. So. For these guys, 1.40 pounds, the gold. Dive is going to be a little bit bigger. Great first starting fish to go after. Um, shallow pond, deep pond, lake shore, minnow, grub, tube uh, works for them. I usually use minnow on these guys. Grub and tube, they've worked they worked pretty good for me too, but I, I'm usually fishing with minnows on these guys. Uh, let's see their traits here. Keen senses. Keen sense food from a great can sense food from a great distance and will respond well to lures. What that tells me there on the on the keen senses is if they're smelling food from a great distance, maybe keep keep your bait in the water. Keep your keep your bait in the water longer, right? Especially if you're using uh, if you're float fishing with minnows. Don't reel up as fast. Maybe you let it sit there for two, three minutes. You know, don't reel up after a minute. You know what I mean? Let it sit there for a little while. See what you get. You know, because maybe, you know, you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to grab one from further away. And it's going to take longer for it to swim there. So, you know, because if it's, you know, smell the bait from further away than normal, than like other fish, it's going to, uh, you know, realistically going to take longer to swim that far away. So maybe just keep it in a little bit longer. See what, see what you can get got that and we'll go take a look at the bait and lure minnow grub tube blood worm marshmallow red worm spoon uh usually minnow blood worm what i use for for um float fishing grub and tube i'll go to i haven't really used these three for them um and then the hook size uh i was using a size seven when i caught my gold i remember that um so i'm assuming you can use a size six for diamond um uh, i don't know if that's going to be diamond only or not but uh, I'm assuming size six would probably be a diamond size. Um, I don't a fish that's only a a buck forty. Ah, uh, I don't think I don't think they're going to be heavy enough to go down to a size five. But I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Um, a size seven will obviously get you golds. I don't think I've caught a silver on a size seven. I think that's golden up. Um, but I have fish form a lot, so don't take that as the gospel truth. Again, just a guide, not exactly. You know, I'm not going to get everything a million percent right here. You know, I haven't read all of these things and memorized every one of these little descriptions and all these fish. Almost, but not quite. So keep that in mind. Uh, now we'll go to the only place that I know for a fact you can get a diamond right here. This right here, you get diamond perch here, diamond crappie. There's a couple of basically everybody's saying like for the crappie. There's a couple of big rocks right here on the edge. Cast towards those rocks. Apparently that's where they are. You can kind of really fish this whole wide area, honestly, for the for the crappie. I've seen big golds pull. I mean, I pulled my big gold out over here. That could that could have been a diamond. You know, just happened to spawn as a gold. You know, I would fish kind of this whole lily pad area here. Um, and there's one other spot that I've seen people tell me they got diamond crappie out of. And it's where these people are going right here. This lake here, I've had people tell me they've got diamond crappie out of there. I have not seen it, and I did not see the screenshots. So I don't want to tell you for sure. But rumor is, that's a pretty good crappie spot. So why don't you check that out? Um, I want to check that out see what you can find there maybe it is report back to me let me know if you got anything good or not so that's what we're looking at for the crappie that's really all I got for them um, they're not super fast fish so that's why I like to use the 
float fish, uh, if you're using the grub in the tube, I would go real pretty slow, and uh, I usually kind of jig with the grub or the tube. Um, with the tube, I mean, you can constant reel, but I usually jig with them, and I go real slow. Uh, let me know if you have better success just constant reeling or, or twitching or anything like that. But other than that, that's all I got for the, for the crappie. Um, if you have any questions, put it in the comments. Um, if this was helpful, leave a like. Uh, and if you want to see more guide videos, go ahead and subscribe. Or don't. I mean, oh, I'm not. It, it won't make me cry for sure. Definitely won't. All right. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Ah, see, I remembered it that time.